your chef is Chef Irene and I take this opportunity to welcome you back to our channel. So today I'm going to show you how to prepare beef pilau without using soy sauce. So what are you supposed to do? Step number one, we are going to put our cooking oil and but before then I have to tell you the ingredients that you're going to use. I have onions, then I have tomatoes that are well chopped, then I have tomato sauce not sauce but tomato paste then we have pilau masala uh, this is a mixture of ginger and uh, garlic then uh, we have rice that is pre-washed and dried washed and dried and we have our beef then definitely for seasoning of our, of our pilau we have salt and cooking oil so step number one, we are going to put generous amount of cooking oil into our cooking pot for the sufria. Then we heat the oil until it is hot. Then after that we are going to add the onions. Now as you can see, alongside the sufria that has the oil, I have another sufria here that has water that is, uh, that is that I'm heating. The reason is I want to use hot water once I put my mixture and I cook my the, the, the other ingredients. After I put the, the rice, I won't use cold water. I will use hot water. That's why I'm heating water alongside the, the sufria here. So we wait until the cooking oil is hot enough and uh, onions and remember onions are the ones that are going to give us the color that we want the, the brown color that we want so we have to cook the onions until they are golden brown As we wait for our onions to cook, kindly subscribe, like and share our videos and uh, don't forget to click the notification bell so that once we post a new video, YouTube will notify you. And give it time to cook and maybe cover it. Now that banner looks like it's a bit slow, maybe I can change. Our water is already hot, but I'm going to use, we put it aside. I like the first burn, it's a bit, it's more faster, it has a, a larger flame. It has a larger flame. So far, it has shrunk. So, 
the means now from now we should be ready for anything any any time now the socks are turning golden brown I'm still waiting for it to cook. on turning until we get the golden brown color Now we check now the progress. I can see now we have our golden brown onions. You can see. So you, at this point, you should be careful that uh, you don't burn your onions, but they are not burnt. We just want them to be golden brown. Uh, I don't know what to do so that you can see, but it's, this is what we have. This is what we have. I hope you can see from that end. So this is our onions. These are our onions. So at this point now, we put ginger and garlic. We put ginger and garlic. And then we stir the mixture. We stir. And then we cook the beef until it is fully cooked. Before we add anything else, we have to make sure that our beef is fully cooked. So we start very well. And 
then leave, we leave our beef to cook. But we shall be stirring occasionally. So you stir until you cook until the beef is fully cooked. I know we know how to cook the beef. So we are going to cook the beef until it is fully cooked. So I'm going to cover and then we give it time, but we shall be stirring occasionally. So we check the progress of our beef. Wow, wow, wow. We are progressing on well. Huh? This is what we have. I think I can show you better. That's what we have. So we keep starting. Give it some few minutes, like maybe the next two minutes, and then we're going to add our tomatoes. By the way, are they tomatoes or tomatoes? Or it will depend with who taught you in your grade one. Comment down there. Are they tomatoes or tomatoes? But now, how will you comment? Maybe you pronounce and then you. Like a short clip because the spelling will be the same. Now, at this juncture, our beef is ready, so we are going to add, or we, we will add the tomatoes or tomatoes, whichever, and the tomato paste and the tomato paste. time give it time to cook and from the look of this we are proceeding on well huh? so far this is what we have can you see it from that end hey look at that yummy yummy mixture now we are going now to put now we add uh, pilau masala and we stir well. We stir well. We give it some few moments to, to cook for the masala to cook. Few 
minutes for the masala to cook. And then next, we are going to add our rice. Remember, I've already washed it and dried it. Huh? You can see it is dry. Now, to this juncture, we now add our rice. Look at that, guys. Look at that. We now add our rice to the mixture. And we stir so that the color can be distributed evenly to all the grains. And when you mix like this, it can give you an idea of the kind of pilau, the color of the pilau that we expect. And the, the color of the pilau that we expect is this one. So at that point now, we add our hot water and then we cover and wait until the rice is fully cooked. Now, and uh, measure the water in the ratio of one is to two, that means one cup of rice is to two cups of water. After that, now we cover and wait for it to, to simmer. Until the water has reduced, then you're going to cover it with foil paper and reduce the flame. Now guys, as you can see, our, our rice is almost cooked. There is no more liquid on the surface of the rice. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to change from this big burner that has a lot of heat to the small burner and a minimum heat possible. So I'm going to put it under minimum heat. Then I'll cover it on top using a foil paper. And then we give it a few minutes and then we serve. So guys, by the look of this, our pilau is ready. Our pilau is ready. And that is what we have. 
and you can see the color and everything else. For now, bye! Until next time, see you. Subscribe, like, and share, and comment down below. Thank you.